break, we asked whether pupils can get an exam upgrade, if on the day of their test they have a headache, witness a distressing event or have their pet die. And the answer is all of them. First, though, are we for or against people who try to exploit your sympathy gland? We'll tell you all manner of stuff to try and get you to look more kindly on them. Everything on from the bloke on a date who tells you oh, it's been years since he last had a girlfriend, I'm just, I'm just not very good with women, <laughs> to this. Can I just say, I am X Factor Hockey hooker, Chloe Heald's number one fan. Without her, I wouldn't have had anything to talk to you about for, like, a month. <laughs> <laughs> Something when she says, I haven't got a CD player. Oh, well, that's, yeah. that's what we're getting onto because Chloe there, I mean, we saw they're pulling out every stop just to get herself ahead in the competition. Can you blame her? Mind you, she earns £160 an hour on her back. You'd have thought she could have afforded a CD player before oh, the audition. Oh, oh, oh. Get her She's not the first X Factor contestant to play on your sympathy either. Do you remember Daniel Evans from two years back? There he is. Uh, I know, Ooh. I'd never seen him. He couldn't sing for Toffee, apparently, but his heart wrenching tale about the, the loss of his wife and his having to bring up his baby daughter on their own when it got you voting for him for weeks to keep him in the contest. So sob stories do work. Maybe we should all be spinning a few. Maybe we should be encouraging our kids to master the art of the hard luck story and not teaching them to be judged on merit alone. Merit? Where does merit ever get you? <laughs> hey, Natalie, are you, are you, I mean, what do you... As a woman, mm. right, when you hear a bloke laying it on about, oh, you know... But I'll be maybe... unwell every day. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Who's just reminding you talking about Matthew? But when you get a bloke <laughs> laying on... <laughs> You know, I mean, I'm not very good with women, or you know, I have trouble. With... Does that does that <laughs> win your sympathy? No. Well, why do we do it? I think it? the sob stories lose something in the telling because you'd rather be something... with someone who was quite good with women. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe I can women. change it. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think um, bad things happen in life. We've all got yeah. problems, issues. Yeah. It's how you handle stuff. them that matters. Yeah. And actually, there's something really nice about someone just getting on with it. Yeah. I know that sounds a bit British and stoic. But it works. We've seen sympathy stories working. Can so I just it remind doesn't, people? It doesn't. You, wrote, you don't know this, but in the last ad break, Matthew got up, had a little bit of a limp around, <laughs> yeah. clutched his back. To me, the thing is, I've got unusually tight muscles and un unusually dry tendons. <laughs> if you want a sob story, mate, you're the biggest merchant in town. <laughs> Can I just add? Unusually <laughs> dry tendons. <laughs> Has anyone ever heard of unusually dry tendons before? <laughs> Can I just That's add? Not there. diagnosed by a doctor. <laughs> Can I just add? It wasn't just that ad break. It's every <laughs> ad break. <laughs> we ever do on this show, every time. You know what? Your sob story didn't work, but now they're bullying you, it does oh, no. When I sat down in the makeup chair, you came in and started telling me about how your house had been flooded, and all you ever do is sob stories. We've all heard about you being stopped in a park on your bicycle. Oh, woe is Matthew! show has been for ten years. It's been a ten year long Matthew Wright sob story. And it's still here. It's and still here. ten years it's in, Matthew. you suddenly decide to tell the rest of the world off for doing what you've been doing right. on Channel 5 every morning for a decade. Enough. Enough. I was going to keep this for Lady Barbar or whatever we're going to call the sheep. We're going to get the names one day. Never mind the brick. Under there is a can of worms for you to open. Oh, I think you might find I've eaten them all already. Right. <laughs> you're not wrong, though, Gorman. Oh, no, you're not you wrong. You are. You're no, a terrible right, right. sob story, man. Why do we do it? Why do we do it? Let's find out if the people at home know. I'm right? on your side, Matthew. The end, uh, we've got you, Don Kirstie. on line one. Renew Kirsty's contract after the oh. show. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Dawn. Hi, good morning. Uh, sob stories, they work, don't they? Um, not really, not always. I mean, if you get somebody who's understanding and they've totally been, you know, in your place in life, um, who feels it knows it. Um, then it's fine, but a lot of the time people just don't know how to react to them or they don't understand or they come out with pathetic cliches like, oh, you know, it must be the weather or, um, you know, chin up, never mind there's people starving in other countries. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's that got to do with the way you're feeling and what you're going through? You're going to make me cry if you carry on like this, Dawn. It's, uh, oh, it's a hard... sure. I, I don't think so. Should we, te <laughs> should we teach our children... Sorry? Should we teach our children? Years and years and years ago, a friend of mine who's sadly no longer with us, not a sub-story, but it is a sub-story, but he's a lovely guy, and he said to me, 
Uh, this is going to sound doubly ironic because of uh, Gorman's rant, but he said to me, <laughs> and this is virtually, virtually word for word, he says, Righty, and I was sitting there, I had flu at the time and I didn't want to go, and he says, Righty, no one's interested, no one's interested in you and your viruses and da 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 da. When someone says, How do you feel? Yeah. you should always say, I feel great, right. thanks very much. How do you feel? Not genuinely asking As, how you yeah. feel. Right. Yeah. And whereas I would always go, oh, well, actually, I've got a bit of a bad bad. <laughs> now, the question, though, Dawn, is whether we should teach our children to, to keep their sob stories to themselves. When I believe, and I think you can demonstrate, and I think we have demonstrated with Chloe Heald there and that other bloke whose name escapes me from X Factor, that sob stories can work. Well, I feel very sorry for Chloe, actually, in a sense. I feel like she's going through a lot. She's a young girl, and she looks like she doesn't have a lot of support. Right, that's what people um, were saying yesterday. Know, she was crying out, in a sense, I feel, for love and attention, and for people to recognise her talent. And you know, this is the problem in the world. That hang on, hang on, I've got to stop you. You used the talent she word there. Crying out for help. Yeah, but she can't really sing, can she? Now, she might want support. Yeah. I think she can sing quite well, but I think her confidence has been knocked. Since she split up with her boyfriend. You're making up sob stories for her. This is the whole it's point, crazy. Dawn. Tell you, tell Everybody you, splits up. Give an example of a sob story that works. No, no. I think there's some people that do put sob stories on, but I think there are some genuine sob stories. Oh, but hang on, Dawn. Dawn, 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 Dawn. No, it doesn't matter whether they're genuine or not. Uh, I hadn't even thought about people that make up sob stories. I mean, just keep it to yourself. Everybody yeah, splits up from a boyfriend or girlfriend at some point. Who do them people speak to? You know, some, some people don't have anybody to speak to. Some people don't have families. Some people don't have good neighbours or good friends. And the thing things. is, though, Dawn, if Who you keep giving a sob story... It sounds like the story of my life you're giving me here, If, you, Dawn, if but... you are the sort of person who has a sob story on every encounter, you're not going to have many friends, because people will be definitely shy away from well, you. I think you're talking about sob stories, whether they work. But, actually, wow. it's about venting. If it, I, I don't believe that you should just keep everything in, because I think that can be quite self-destructive. You can someone vent says, OK, so you've had a lousy day. Someone says to you, how, do you, how are you? Well, do you say... I always try... And I don't even try. I feel like a glass-half-full kind of person. You, but yeah. I would definitely go, go and speak to my mum on the phone. Yeah, yeah, no, but that's my different. Best so, mates to but, but I anybody... wouldn't... No, I definitely wouldn't. I definitely... Like, if, a, if someone came up to me in the studio later and, how are you, and I didn't actually feel great, I would say great. Because, you know what, I don't need to load my burdens onto them. It's not yeah. fair yeah. to put that onto them. But I've got a handful of really close girlfriends and my mum and dad, my brother... That, that's different. I think when you're with, with, when you're with close you friends... That way. Yeah, yeah. If you're trying that's to win a different. game... But if somebody it's... asked me, I definitely wouldn't burden them with it. OK. I agree. What's our audience think, Eric? OK, we've got Jocelyn next to me. So, do they ever work some stories? Um, I'm sure that they do work. I'm sure. I um, don't think that you should keep things bottled. I up. came hobbling all the way over to you during the break, <laughs> and I saw you cheering, cheering Gorman. Gave him a little cuddle. Didn't but you, you shouldn't get. You shouldn't keep. Yes, you just need a cuddle. I think if you've got that. Oh, I've got a headache. Oh, my back hurts. What you really should say is, I need some TLC. Can I have a hug? But I'm you not can't cuddling touch me. If you touch me, I would break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a. Come on, hug it out. Come on. Hug it out. So, can I just say, can I just say to Natalie, do you want a hug? Come on. <laughs> and while they're hugging and I yeah. ease myself back into the yeah. chair... Now, will you sign this contract? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh. What is the matter with you lot today? Matthew, 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 in all the years I've done this show, that was the worst part for you ever. Yes, it was. <laughs> Yes, it was. I now so I, 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 I have some feeling about what it must be like to be nailed to a cross. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes again, the cry now. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Oh, dear. Thank you, Jocelyn, thank you. Um, <laughs> I think everyone's on nitrous oxide. Hippie crowd, I blame Prince Harry. There we go. Now, after the break, 